ChatGPT5 has just been released and it is the best AI model out there at the current moment. This is OpenAI's smartest and most intelligent model they have ever released and some of the benchmarks are quite impressive but what's most insane is the additions the things that they've added to the new gbt5 that were not part of the previous 04 models or gbt 4.5 and right away let's take a look at the current benchmarks and this compares a lot of the top ai competitors out there such as grok Gemini and even the previous OpenAI models and Cloud as well. And look at this for intelligence, GBT5 high and GBT5 medium have been at the number one and number two spot with Grok being the same as medium, but GBT5 one more point at 69 higher for overall intelligence. Now speed, Gemini Flash is the fastest right now, but to be honest, do you really care about speed if it gives you the correct answer to me? I, as long as they give me the response I want, I can wait a little bit longer. But let's go ahead and look at some of the things that you can do. So they have a bunch of videos. They even had a live stream yesterday. And it was showcasing a bunch of the cool stuff. And take a look at this. So basically, this is a prompt. It create a single page HTML file with the following requirements. In short, it's basically a game that they made. And some of the biggest features, which I will tell you later at the end, is pretty good why I like this new model because there are a lot of little things that everyone was complaining about but for now let's just play this game really quick you can see we have some music and you can see it's kind of like the game like Flappy Bird and then you can retry and then you can see here we even have the score up there speed sound and a bunch of other cool stuff here with one single prompt years ago if you were to make this game you'd have to make the graphics etc take a lot of time and literally made it just like that now continuing on here are just some of the new response comparisons with uh particularly 4.0 and then gpt5 here 03 you can see here for example right here and basically it seems like for the most part some of the particular prompts that they've used are quite similar but in terms of the wording it looks like some of the stuff is slightly better but for like other things such as detailed, even for example, like this one for like health concerns, it has more emotion to it. It's like, I'm sorry I'm dealing with this or you're dealing with this. So it's, it looks like the responses feel like, at least this current example, feel like it's better for someone who is asking a very important question. And then there's additional stuff. So let me show you some of the quick benchmarks, the stats, and then I'll show you some other cool, crazy things that GT5 has put out there. So first of all, AIME 2025 competition math. Look at this GPT 5 Pro with Python 100% accuracy, absolutely flawless here. Even with the previous ones with the GPT 5, here you can see they're pretty much super, super high 90 plus percentile. Continuing on, we can see some more math stats here and some other things. See for a particular GPQA Diamond, you can see here PhD questions. Look at the stats 89.4%. We are so close to 100% on a lot of these, which I'd say give it maybe a next year or so. We, I'm sure some other AI is going to come out with that. And let's see here. Many of the last exams, but this is essentially something to sh test the overall intelligence of the AI. And take a look at this. 42% coming from, let's take a look. See, open 03, 03 here. It's almost double, like not, not double yet, but it's pretty much almost there and look at that increase in an in overall intelligence for that now here's what i am particularly looking for which is coding which i did see a lot of prompts with. i'll actually show you some of the things that they built with it and uh basically look at the percentage here 74.9 percent on sw bench verified and then Ader polyglot 88 percent and you can see here the difference though is with thinking so one thing i do notice if you are like watching this today or maybe the next day is on some people they do not have access to gpt5 yet for me particularly on desktop i don't see it but on my phone it works so i've been testing it out with my phone for like normal questions but for specifically coding i can't i'm not gonna ask to make a website on my phone right so i'll make another video probably if it um shows up later today or um next day or so testing out the true test to see what you can do with the coding but for now, let's just look at some of the new comparisons here and see some more stats right there. And then something for this uh, as well. So now they have a bunch of other 
graphs that you can take a look at and even like health bench here you can see some of the stuff there but the biggest thing that they were talking about this was in the live stream too is the hallucination so for this particular one for health bench hard hallucinations it looks like it has decreased the percent that it actually starts talking like random and just doesn't really answer your question which i'm sure a lot of you have that issue significantly down to 1.6 percent for the health bench parts but for other parts i have to take a look and see but overall the main things that i've noticed is the ai aesthetic for like coding particularly or even like software has increased significantly in addition the hallucination rates that they stated on their graph apparently for i guess the best model it has significantly downgraded or not say upgraded to where it doesn't hallucinate as much and you can see here some comparisons to the old models now here's some more fun little charts and graphs but let's see here you can see some other responses as well and again it does look quite similar to but the main thing is, let's take a look at some of the projects that they've made here. So here is the one for the developers. This is the blog here. I want to show you something. So they state, it is the smartest coding model they've used. And essentially, this summary basically says it is super powerful. So basically, let's scroll down here. So take a look at this. This is a landing page. And the prompt is generate a landing page for a web, uh, essentially a coffee uh, company for 200 bucks a month. So basically a website for coffee. And... Take a look at this. This AI, or I say this UI is significantly better looking than the previous models. In my current test, Gemini had the best for 2.5 Pro for the best UI when I did like a uh, website prompt. However, this looks like it's significantly caught up. And here, obviously, you could add some more like padding around this, but you know, whatever, no big deal. But you can see here, this overall design looks quite good. We have the organization with the bullet points, the images on the right side. And you see like a grid action here and then we have you know three little benefits we have this uh looks like a cool little step-by-step -step process here the pricing some reviews contact more uh testimonials faq we even have the little drop down i'm curious to see what happens if i click this it looks like it's like a scroll to um yeah so it looks like the front end particularly uh, for this is something that looks significantly better than the previous model and Here you can see this is pretty cool is uh, it's creating it looks like a website. Yeah, I'm guessing this is in uh, Looks like this is in ChatGPT, but it looks like it's doing stuff such as like things in the terminal that if you never coded You would never know how to do this some of this stuff. So for me I know how this I mean I can read it and see what it does what it's doing and typically you do this in like your own uh, code editor, like VS Code or whatnot. So people who've never coded, that's usually like the first or two, one or two steps that they can't do. So and they could do the prompt, you know, type it in, make a website, but then they're stuck if they don't know where to transfer the file, the codes, especially even here. If you want to do something with React, that's a whole other step. So this is actually really, really scary for people who are coding, to be honest but also very, very uh, exciting because now it's going to open up the playing field where people can create things faster. And if you do know how to code, it's just going to be even easier. So you can see here, it's telling the commands to run and essentially open the website. And that is actually pretty amazing to see. So you can see some of their um, videos they posted. But again, you can see some more stats. And I'm seeing I've read enough stats right here. But basically, just know GPT-5 is going way better than i'd say the previous models now fun thing that i've noticed is that this is what 2025 august when i'm recording this right so guess what that means we still have gemini 3 coming soon i'm hopefully at least within this year which means that they have to be better there's also the option of grok being grok 5 as well in addition there are you know claude has the option to uh, level up as well so if if this is the current benchmarks which we can scroll down and look at these look at these benchmarks right now for gpt5 high compared to the previous um open AI models significantly higher top 90s some of these are 20 plus double percentage just from like this or i'd say like 10 plus percent and then we can see here high 80 percent so the moment we get to basically 99 percentile for a lot of these coding related and even other stats it's going to be absolutely insane so you can see here look at this the coding 112k that is significantly 
better than the previous uh, bounties. Looks like this one's uh, compared to the other models, but it's slowly increasing. So what does that mean? It means that now the competition, Google's next, I'm assuming, or maybe Grok or even a Claude. So that means all these stats you're seeing right now, the next model has to be better or else no one's going to want to use it. Like, why would I use it if GPT-5 is better than the other one? So if Gemini 3 comes out and it just it just swamps all of these stats, guess what happens? In the next few months, it's going to keep getting faster, better, stronger, to the point where it's going to be absolutely insane. I can't wait to see. But until then, let me know your thoughts on GPT-5. If you have access to it already, let me know. Right now, I still, it's still on 4.0 on my computer, but on my phone, I can use it on the app. So I guess maybe the iOS app, it um, Android apps, it updates pretty fast. So definitely share thoughts on it in the comments below. Are you excited? Share any projects that you're working on, you're building with it. And aside from that, stay tuned for more AI updates. Like and subscribe and see you in the next one.